Does CGPA matter for getting a job in the IT industry? How much CGPA do you need? If I were to answer in a single line, yes, it matters for securing a job, whether on campus or off campus. You must maintain a CGPA between 7.5 and 8. Let me give you the complete context and reasoning in the next 4 minutes so that you will put only the required effort for CGPA. Let's start. First of all, is this even a valid question? Because the better the marks, the better the career. No, it is not the case here. It is a valid question due to a couple of reasons. Number one, why should I invest my time in learning subjects which do not help me to get placements? A CGPA isn't enough to impress companies. They need skills. And number two, if I know the minimum CGPA required to get a job, then I will give only the required time and effort. In the remaining time, I will focus on owning my other skills like coding, software development, web development, communication and more, which are important to get a job and becoming a good software developer. Also, having some college life with friends and exploring things outside college gives you more understanding of life and helps you to find your passion. You can parallelly explore some other skills like finance, video editing, speaking and so on in the remaining time. I hope it is clear why is this even a valid question. So let me help you to decide the CGPA you need for placements. For that matter, we need to answer two questions. Question number one. What are the requirements for getting placed in companies like Google, Amazon or any tech company? The requirements are first clearing online coding test and then interview rounds. For coding, you need to improve your coding skills by learning data structures and algorithms and practicing coding problems on platforms like LeetCode, Hacker Earth and others. For interviews, along with coding, you need to know object-oriented programming concepts, database management system, operating system and computer networks. Computer networks is not as important as others. It will be a cherry on the cake if your communication skills and English fluency are good. Question number two. What is the procedure of companies to hire a candidate in college placements? Companies keep the minimum CGPA criteria and those candidates who have CGPA above the set criteria are allowed to appear for an online coding test. Once they set the criteria, let's say 7.5. Now all students from 7.5 to 10 will be given equal opportunity and the student who possesses more skill will be given a job or internship. If I conclude the answers of these two questions, then we need to get a minimum CGPA and focus more on coding skills, DBMS, OOPS concepts, operating system concepts and a little English proficiency to get a job. So the aim should be clear. We should not compromise this required skills by focusing more on getting high marks or CGPA. In general, 7.5 to 8 is a decent CGPA where you will be eligible to clear almost all companies. I highly recommend that it's better if you can avoid getting a CGPA of less than 7. See, I know the world never ends and if you have a killer attitude, then a failed student can make a big. But it doesn't mean that you start preparing to fail first and then you will become successful so that there will be a movie on you. Anyways, please do like if you have come till here and give me 30 more seconds. If you ask me, what would I do if I was admitted to BTEC today? I would say that I would try to maintain my CGPA between 7.5 and 8 so that I will be eligible to sit in most companies. I would focus more on learning coding and software development skills. I hope that you understand the right balance between CGP and other skills. Let me end this video with a note and suggestion for you. Note, CGP doesn't matter after a year of job experience. It matters for freshers only. Suggestion, you can contact your placement cell or fourth year seniors and ask for the details of the minimum CGP criteria of the companies that visited the campus. One last point, the minimum CGP range shared by me is not for the students who want to go for higher education like MBA, MS or anything. For higher education, you must research the CGP requirement of the field you want to pursue and based on that, you need to balance out your college studies, entrance exam preparation and all. Be smart and avoid following the trends of getting more marks everywhere. That's it from our side. Please hit the like button, share and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such amazing content. We guarantee learning from every video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.